Welcome to a Revo product presentation. Today we'll be looking at the SMS430 and the SMS tag ID. What I'd like you to do is to imagine that I've arrived at your business premises, I've set up my equipment, and I'm gonna do a product presentation at your request. Um, you need to know more about the product. Um, typically we need to find out will it solve your current problems? Can it be cost effective? Is it truly easy to use? And is it ultimately justifiable? And I hope in this short presentation to answer those key questions. The Rebo systems, particularly the SMS 430 and the TAG ID are products that have become more and more common to be found in offices, sitting alongside things like traditional office printers. They are becoming more and more commonplace. Um, and I think this is probably because of the way industry has changed and the demands of manufacturing and our heightened awareness of health and safety. The Rebo SMS systems are, as an example, typically used to make health and safety signs. They're used extensively in maintenance, cable, wire marking, Pipe identification, general notices, valve tagging, asset labelling, and they're also more and more being used in supporting lean programmes within industry and manufacturing. In addition to the different types of application the machines are used for, the products are also used in a very, very broad range of industries. We have systems in petrochemical, manufacturing, warehousing, public facilities, hospitals, plant hire, electrical installations, power plants, just to name a few. And the key to our products is we don't deliver paper. We deliver products that are designed for durability and to be used in aggressive environments, which are things like vinyls, polyesters and polypropylenes. And all of our materials have been weather tested. We put them in a the machine according to an ISO standard. And when we say, for example, that this could be guaranteed to be outside for eight to 10 years with virtually no fading and no deterioration of the text, we've done that through a scientific test. So we can actually stand behind our quality claims that your sign, your label will be where you've placed it in eight to 10 years time based on scientific testing. So, you know, you can trust us if we say a label will be there in 10 years. It will be because we've already tested it ourselves. The whole principle of the Rebo offer is based around something that we call the quality triangle. The quality triangle is very simple. You have to have the correct delivery device, the correct printer. You really must have a compatible and varied portfolio of different materials that can go through the machine. This is a snapshot. And you must have, within that quality triangle, the correct software that allows you to go from design to print in the shortest space of time. And we like to think that as a company, in those three points, we place ourselves in the middle because we are bringing that together as the total package. So now let's just look at the products in question. We have the two sister products here. We have the SMS 430 and the SMS tag ID. Visually, pretty much identical. If we look at the SMS 430 to begin with, it's a thermal transfer system. And you have a roll of material and you have a ribbon. And the machine uses a thermal print head that burns the image through the ribbon onto the surface of the material. You can place different widths of material inside the products. You've got huge flexibility on what you can create and print. And if you want to change the color that you're printing with, it's a very simple process of changing the ribbon on the machine. The SMS430 has a very, very robust cutter which allows it to cut through some fairly strong materials. 
Um, it's quite aggressive. If we look at the SMS Tag ID, this is the sister product that's been developed really to service the lockout tag out industry. So you may see immediately it doesn't have the robust cutter unit because it's really designed for production of tags and die cuts where, as you will see, they don't need to be cut. They're actually perforated or they're just peeled away. So there's no real need for the cutter if that's its key function. And the lockout tag out program is a very simple program which is used to guarantee safety in the industry workplace. You have to secure the source of power, you use a device, you use a padlock, and what our machine allows you to do is to create the visual notice that tells you the nature of the risk and to give you as much information about why that source of power has been switched off or shut down. The advantage is you can customise your messages. They have a huge range of different sizes. Uh, this is an electrical lockout whereby you would lock out a trip switch, secure it with a padlock, and because it's a small installation, you would use a smaller tag. So those are the two machines, the SMS430 and the SMS Tag ID. Very, very simple products, very reliable, very easy to clean, and very, very productive. As I said previously, we see them really as the two workhorses of our product range. The connectivity of the machine is also pretty universal in the sense that you've got a USB connection, you've got an Ethernet connection, so you can actually place these machines into a network, and it's also got options to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth added to them. Having looked at two of the three main parts of the quality triangle. The third part of the triangle is the origination part, which is the software. And we choose to use Nice Label Pro because it's one of the top label design softwares in the world of software. The software is not unusual in the sense that everything is laid out as you would expect from a current Microsoft package. You have the normal drop-down fields at the top. You have a range of selection buttons, including text, etc., the print command. You even have your alignment tools here. And in terms of making a label, you can create text, you can make text boxes. All the current barcodes used in the industry today are included. That does also include two-dimensional barcodes uh, and QR codes as well. There's over a thousand industry standard pictograms, uh, all of which are required by current norms within the European Union and the international community. You can create boxes, you can create lines, you can create ellipses, and you can create reverse out. And in addition to that, you have the possibility to add in variables, which could be your sequences. So you could do sequences of A1, A2, A3, A4. You can place time date stamps onto the labels and you can have um, very real data put into the labels. In addition, you can connect the label to a database or a spreadsheet um, and import and much information as you like within to a label. And to create your label or your sign, it's first and foremost, you have to set the dimension here of the label. Happy with that. I've actually set the orientation to portrait. It could equally be horizontal. And traditionally, you would bring text in, embolden text, subtext. This is an imported graphic. So yes, you can import logos. You can import other um, illustrations that you may have that are relevant to your business. Uh, header text, then you've got the text box. This is a graphic taken from the graphic library. We've got another block of information which is going to be enhanced by using a reverse out block. And then, as you can see there, we've placed the barcode. Um, I can then go to the print command. And I get to the print command where I've got my driver in place and I can choose to print to. And then I can click on print.
So hopefully that short presentation has given you a clear idea about the uses of the product, how the product is used, its ease of use, the enormous flexibility the product has, uh, the durability of the materials, and obviously uh, a good understanding about how you can use the software. If you have any other questions or you feel I haven't answered any of the key questions that you might have had prior to looking at the video, please feel free to contact us. Contact information will appear at the end of the video. Um, so it just remains for me to say thank you for your time and thank you for watching this video.